hey guys welcome to our channel so in this video i am going to show you how to make an app on tunkable so simply in order to do this just you have to go to google and search for tunkable so simply after that when you open this website as you can see on the top right side sign up option so if you already have account simply you have to log into your account currently i don't have account so simply i will go for sign up option so as you can see no code mobile app development made easy so tunkable is some kind of website where you can build android and ios apps too without any coding so let's see how you can do it so first of all we need to sign up for tunkable so as you can see sign up with email sign up with apple sign up with google three options available simply if you want to sign up with email type your email here if you have apple id so sign up through apple currently i am going to sign up through google so after that just enter to your google account and move to tunkable so just you have to wait for few seconds our account is being created here so now here you can see what kind of selection you made here like i have selected the student click on next so do you have any experience creating apps simply click, click on no experience if you have any experience you can select this simply go to next now here you can see start building option so simply just click here and just type the new project name so after typing the project name here you can also select the categories so after that just click on create and now when you click on create simply you have to wait for few set seconds so here you can see finally we have created a simple format and now we will move to designer page so here you can see this is the designer page so simply as you can see on the left sides many components available and on the right sides editing components available so here is the designer and here the blocks so blocks here you can see you can use coding of everything but simply we will go to design because we want to make application without coding so simply just we will reload this page so now here you can see this is the main screen of your website and designer section now here first of all if you want to create an app just as you can see there are many components here so simply just select the component like i want to first of all add the buttons here so simply i will add the buttons so simply i will add one by one so as you can see i have added three buttons here now after that here select change the buttons name like a p and we type the c button so simply after changing it just you have to select here here you can change the name and here you can change the font and in the next here you can also make it bold italic and also choose all these options so here you can check the layout like you can also increase the size here so after that just here you can see if you want to make invisible or visible simply you have to select this so here you can change the background like i have select the yellow or black one so simply after that here you can also set the border and shadows if you want to add so finally we have added three buttons so now here you can also add the image here simply so just you have to upload image from your computer here and here you can add the text input 
so simply you can type the text here you can also expand this area like this one so you can add the application description or something in the list that you want to add here so after that just next list view so here you can add the list view simply here you can see the list viewer option so here you can adjust the size and everything but currently i don't want to add the list view here so simply just if you want to delete any component just simply select here and delete it from here or you can directly delete it from here so now here you can see the group and web view option now here you can see the switches so simply if you want to add the switches in application simply just put it here so here you can see we have added switches so now if you want to add some value and action to these buttons text and everything simply just what you need to do go to data and click on the data source front just click on this plus button now click on create new now create your own table or just believe you're gonna port this so just type the name here so just keep in mention that if you want to make a new storage here simply the name will be same as you are on the button or images so simply just i want to store the data source in a simply just select the a. so here you can also extend the tables and columns like this so now go back to design so one by one you can add data source and actions to these buttons and text and images and switches here so now here you can see we have add switches now go to slider so if you want to add any slider so simply you can adjust the slider just here in the downside of image so now it's depend upon you that how you want to make your application beautiful so just design the application like the best one after that just in the next you can see checkbox so if you want to add the checkbox here simply just you can add the checkbox here you can also increase the size or decrease the size so after that just here you can see the map option so if you want to add the google map or any other map in your application simply you can drag a map and add into your application but currently i don't need to add any map so simply here you can also add the animation some some kind of animation that you want to add here so simply just here you can adjust the animation layout and size so here you can also add the blocks animations one two three switches and all other blocks here but currently we will move to design so simply after that just in the next we will go to video section so simply you can import a video here so you can directly upload the video here but currently i don't want to upload any video or direct any url video source here so here you can also zoom out and zoom in all the options zoom in and zoom out available now in the next as you can see the canvas so you can drag this loading icon this import it if someone downloading anything or data from your website so simply you can also add the downloading icon for action after that just date input so you can also add the date input here at the end so next you can also add the time input so just keep the date and time to very close after that just you can also add the pdf viewer component data viewer list data viewer grid ratings so simply if you want to add the ratings at the end or center here you can add the ratings so mostly the five star ratings available here so someone if give rating to you simply you can add ratings here so now after that just as you can see we have add many components to this application so simply if you want to 
add any component simply you have to select the component and after that you can simply make addition or customize according to your choice so after that you have to go to data source and add data one by one and then go to assets and here you can upload the media file so choose file from your computer or drag it here now go to settings here we will add the app description simply you can add the long description here after that here you can see the app name this is very important just you have to select the unique name and select the easy name that is more easily and understandable and make the name short after that here you can upload the icon so simply select any random icon and upload here after that you can see our image is uploaded so in this way you can upload icon for your application so now app bundle id so i have already signed up through google so simply my email is available here and it is verified so here you can also add the version of your app now if you creating app first time so you have to add the first version obviously and version code should also be first but if you are making any addition or any new version of app so simply are you creating the new updates here so simply you can change the version and code here so if your application is like you are creating the ios application so simply you can also change the version name and as well as you have to add the tracking user description so here you can also android api key you have to add here ios api key you have to add here so if you are creating android app simply use the google api key if you are creating ios you can use ios api key So after that here you can add the server url subscription key cloud name api key api secret in the addition if you want to add so as you can see how simply we have created this application so now if you want to publish this application simply download and publish but in order to download and publish application simply you have to buy a premium package for this so in this way you can easily create a application on Tankable.